what's up everybody brother keith here pastor keith here just trying to give this quick little dream i've had a series of dreams um in the past week um i know it was triggered um when men and women of god get together and we're praying and we're interceding and talking um i had the pleasure of meeting uh crypto night face to face and um also got to meet uh, Brother Diggs from How To Be Healed TV. And so when we're all getting together and we're praying and we're talking on the phone and, you know, it, a lot of things are happening in the spirit. And I, I just uh, really discern that. Um, and it was just interesting right after I met these brothers, um, I had just a string of dreams. And I also got to meet one of the YouTube brothers that just, you know, he watches a lot of my videos and he's definitely um receiving the prophetic word concerning the wealth transfer and some of those things uh brother eric out of uh and so i just wanted to thank brother eric as well just so just a lot of stuff that started to go on with a lot of dreams that started happening um i just wanted to let people know and of course first time me doing a video like this that's when you get a little truck or something that wants to drive by so it's all good that's just how that stuff works but just want to give you the quick dream because i know the timing of it is is what counts. Um, I had two dreams, um, in particular of crypto, Shiba, and Electronium related dreams. So with the Shiba Inu dream, I saw I was at someone's house, and the house was in a was right next to a forest, and it was right next to as it was next to a forest. This big house, I, I noticed a lot of wild animals in the forest. And the, the house was over, you know, set aside. So I went up to the house. I walked into the house. And as I'm inside the house, um, a tiny little Sheba dog that was very disheveled and very, like, raggedy. It was just like, looked like it hasn't, its hair was all nappy, not taken care of. It looked like it was dang near, near, near death. This little tiny raggedy Sheba dog looked like it hasn't eaten in months it ran up to me to attack me and i just was looked at it and i just rebuked it in jesus name and i said the blood of jesus is against you and so instead of it went from wanting to attack me it got very docile and all of a sudden wanted to play and be my friend so i just this dog is just there and i just like whatever and I, i'm walking through the house still and as i'm walking through the house another sheba dog now this dog is a normal size Shiba dog, healthy, hair cut and trimmed, look like it's taken care of. It attacks, and as it goes to attack me and gets very aggressive and comes to attack me, I do the same thing. I just said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against you. And I put my hand out it, and it got docile. And it, it went from wanting to attack me to now being my friend. Like, it just was like, you know, friendly wagging its tail. So now the little medium-sized shiva dog that's and the raggedy disheveled shiva dog they're both following me around and they're like they want to be my friend and stuff and i'm like whatever and i'm walking through this house still and as i'm walking through the house just you know going about my way i, I go into the backyard for some reason of this big house and as i go into the backyard i notice there's a massive gate in in the backyard a mass excuse me a massive fence and so as there was a massive fence uh, uh, and, I'm, and I'm walking through the backyard, a massive Sheba dog, the size of a pig, and, a, and it was the size of a farm pig, like, you know, one you will butcher, you know, think of the ones you people in Hawaii would, you know, grill. But this Sheba dog was fat. It wasn't in shape and it was fat and big. And it came out and it rushed me and it was like, rah, rah, rah. and it came rushed me, this big fat Sheba dog. And when it rushed me, I did the, this time I did something different. As it came to attack me, I jumped over it in the dream and I jumped onto the, onto the, the fence because it was a big high fence. And I jumped on the fence and I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just avoid this whole situation with that big old fat attack Sheba dog. So I went to climb out. And I wasn't, and when I climbed to the top of the fence, there was massive barbed wire. So I was like, oh, dang, I didn't feel like trying to get through the barbed wire and getting cut. So I was like, all right, 
I'll come back down. So when I came back down, because I didn't want to deal with the barbed wire, when I came back down, well, that same big, fat, massive Sheba dog, it comes back and rushes to attack me. So what do I do again? This time, I did. I used the same authority as I used before. I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against you. And just like the other two Sheba dogs, the big, fat, massive dog, which was a Sheba, and it was over, overweight, it fell over and wanted to play and became my friend. So now it's docile. And they're with the other three ones. They're all docile. And so I go to the owner of the house. I didn't know this dude, who this dude was. He had, I told him, I said, look, I'm ready to go. And he gave me the key. And I was unable to, I was able, excuse me, to unlock a lock on the, on that fence gate. And I walked out and I walked out of the, um, the high fenced area and I had, he gave me a key and I unlocked and I walked out and that dream end. That was for Sheba. So you guys can give an interpretation on that, on how you want to. I've heard a couple different interpretations already from some of my prayer warriors, but feel free to chime in. The other one I got to give you is um, regarding Electronium. This happened within the, this, what I'm dropping you guys, these dreams happened in the last seven days. Okay. So last seven, eight days, something like that. Um, uh, it, regarding Electronium, I was inside of an airport. And I'm in the airport and I go up to the, the desk, right? You know, the desk right before you go on to the plane, peep it, right before you go on to the airplane, they have the desk and the stewardess are there. Well, there's two stewardesses who are right at the desk before you board onto the plane. And they, you know, they take the, the ticket and whatever before you board the airplane. She said to me, um, she showed up, she pulled out a pair of sneakers uh, a fancy gym bag, like a fancy designer bag, and a bottle of, of some type of liquor or wine. And they were all expensive. They weren't cheap. It was like an expensive liqueur, an expensive designer bag, and expensive shoes. And they were like expensive gym shoes. Like my son, you know, he's into the, the, the sneakers and all that stuff, the fancy stuff. Him and his friends like to get the Jordans or the LeBrons. And they like to get the classic ones. And, you know, these things are, could be worth a couple hundred dollars, you know, $500, $600 for the retros and all that stuff. So when he pulled out the, the when she pulled them out, she said, hey, look, we have an announcement to make. Somebody left these items and we're going to sell them. So when I looked at them, each one of them had the fancy, had the, each one of them had the neon blue from Electronium, each one of these, uh, these items. And I knew by the spirit, these were Electronium related. It's just like when you're in a, the dream realm, some things you just get a knowing. They had the fancy neon blue on each one of them, on the gym shoe, on the gym bag. And the gym bag had the, the blue and the black and the white, like proper Electronium. And the liquor bottle, the same thing, all of them. And on the uh, and so, long story short, she says, "Look, whoever wants to buy these, because another passenger left them, um, you can buy them before we take off or whatever. You know, we're, you know, we could buy them because before we board, somebody else, another passenger left these behind. And so she said, "Look, we're gonna sell our offering price. We're gonna sell it at um, uh, 150. You could get everything here for like 150 dollars." And I was just like, mm, you know, and I, but I knew I started thinking, I said, well, you know, the shoes alone, I know I could resell those shoes for about 500 bucks. Those are $500 uh, sneakers. And I was thinking about it, like, but I was still going back and forth in my head. And I was like, that gym bag is definitely worth a couple hundred dollars too. You know, I know it's, it's going to be worth if I resell it. And the liquor, I was like, I could probably resell that, that, that bottle of whatever drink. I could sell that to a, a, a bar or somebody and get and double my profit easily with that. And so as I'm contemplating it, I said, ah, well, maybe I'll just go up. And I'm, come, I'm still not con like, eh, I'm not convinced I'm going to make the purchase. You know, how you're like back and forth like, well, I don't really need it. But, you know, I could make money off it. So as I went up and I said, well, tell you what i went up to the one stewardess on one side of this i was like uh tell you what would you uh would you do 50 dollars just for the shoes you know and she was like yeah well, well i'll take 50 i was like all right cool some other guys went to the other stewardess on the other side he said here i'll give you 35 she said yeah he snatched the shoes before i can grab them he snatched the shoes and he threw them on his feet 
And as I as he threw him on his feet, I peeped something. He was like, hey, got him first. And I was like, well, damn, I just told the steward. I was like, yo, I just I just offered 50. And she, you said, yeah. And the other stewardess was like, yeah, but he paid first. And we so we took the 35. And I'm like, Phew. and the dude had a he had a he had a British accent. I peeped that the dude who put on his shoes had a British accent. So mind you, the electronium that's related to the UK, electronium crypto. So he had on the shoes and he was like, hey, wait, well, got it first. And I was kind of like peeved that, you know, I was like, well, you know, you started at 150 for the offer and then you were willing to take 50 for the shoes. And then you let this guy take it from me for at 35. And they were like, well, there's nothing we can do. And they were like, that's that. And the dream ended. There was a couple different things. I talked to some prayer warriors about it, what they think, their thoughts and stuff like that. So I definitely like to hear your thoughts um, because it was, I know it was electronium related. I know. And that plane was about to take off. That's a key thing as well. It was about to take off. So you guys can uh, definitely give some interpretation with that. I'm, I'm going to try to put out more videos, but I'm very busy. But I, the Lord's been on me to get some of these videos out. And that one, I feel an urgency to release that one, get that one out. And there's some other ones coming um, within the next day or so. Um, so thanks for your time, Brother Keith. Peace.